So, I'm not gonna lie to you guys, I do not look this good, ever. What is going on guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Gabriella, and this is, one second, oh, I'm so much higher now. Ha ha ha. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Gabriella, and this is Makeup Adventures with Gabby. Today, I have a, a new desk, and it makes me feel like I'm like, a news anchor or something because it's like pretty wide so I'm like and I have like my computer in front of me and just like oh look at me the news on makeup anyways today I decided to do a video of full face of old and new favorite holy grail product that I know will never do me wrong and I should probably move my computer before I really slap it hard and break it so we're gonna move that away from my hands and then we're going to continue with this intro. And it's gonna be like a full glam too. Like it's not just gonna be like me showing you, oh, this is my favorite products. Like, nah, -uh. we're going all out. And I also decided to do that today because I had like maybe four hours and 45 minutes of sleep. Uh, last night I went out, well, I'll tell you guys more about it in the video. And don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up. Share it out to the world. Comment down below anything that you guys want to see, anything in particular that you would like to see, and to subscribe to my channel because, like, I'm awesome. So, without further ado, let's get into the video. All right, guys, so the first product that I, I don't want to show you guys everything, so that I've been really, really loving, I used to use. A different kind from the same brand but I ran out and then I ended up getting this one this is the benefit cosmetics goof proof brow pencil so it has this bully at the end and it has uh, a crayon just kind of similar to the hourglass brow something sculpting brow something something um, it's like a triangle in a way it's very nice to just to find your eyebrows you can use it slightly or you can use it for a little bit bolder eyebrows like I did today why am I going a little bit bolder because why not why not um so yeah I use that for my eyebrows and I really really love it it lasts all day even if I work out without setting it which I find is really cool and yeah so that's the first product and I primed my eyes with concealer but we'll talk about the concealer after when we get to that part so we're gonna get to the eyeshadow and today I'm going to be using me me favorite my favorite Anastasia Beverly Hills palette the soft glam palette that looks like this it's very dirty and like this peep my nail that uh, I took off. So I really, 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 really love this palette. I've been using it mostly for clients than for myself, but I've always reached out for it when I wanted, when I wanted a specific look, I know that this will always be there for me. Obviously it's very, um, what are the words? I'm really tired guys. I'm really, really tired and I was editing and I was like, not really focusing on my editing so I was like let's just film another video so I have more things to edit but anyways um it's very bridal like what I was trying to say but I still love it it's just all the colors go so well together you can do a lot of looks from like supernatural to super extreme glam with this palette so I'm gonna go use this palette because I love it okay we are going to use a blending brush from which one are we gonna use today? From Sephora. This is one of my favorite ones. Um, I don't know which collection from Sephora this brush is, but I know it's from Sephora. It was from like three years, no, two years ago, and it's like glitter. It's a big fluffy blending brush that I love, and I like had an idea what I wanted to do, but now I don't. Uh, just kidding. I'm gonna go with the shade. I think we're gonna do a classic gold. So I'm gonna go with the shade Burnt orange which one over here and that's gonna be my transition shade And I'm gonna put that all over my lid not my lid not my lid my crease 
and this one does have a lot of like uh, fallout or excess so I do tap it at least once um, or else I find that the shade is which is great that it's very pigmented but when I want to start a look you always want to start soft and then gradually and my boyfriend keeps screaming and I don't know if you guys can hear it but his gaming room is like right across from my beauty room and I'm really tired right now so I just want to go yell at him being like, shut up I just uh, tapped a little bit more into my brush and like I was saying you just want to gradually build that shade or the color that you want eventually you will get the intensity that you want I'm going to use a different mi mirror because how is it annoying? I don't know I'm just gonna go for like a classic gold uh, smoky eye because we're going full glam guys using my soft glam to go full glam the same all right taking a smaller blending brush and this is from BH cosmetics it's like this and I don't know what collection this is from and I don't know the number of this brush the BH Cosmetics brushes also have numbers, but they're not like the Mor Morphe ones where like each specific brush has its own number. This one's just like the collection itself has like one, two, three, four. I don't know what this one is. So yeah, I'm gonna go into the shade. I'm gonna go into the shade Rustic, which is this one over here. It's like a couple of shades darker than the burnt orange and we're also going to place that on my crease just to intensify and define my crease a little bit more so i'm placing this shade just a little bit underneath that first shade so i'm kind of leaving a layer of the first shade that we put to in on our lid or our crease noticeable or like you can still see that it's there and there is a little bit of oh no i just dipped into the <laughs> And you can see a little bit of a difference in it. I even forgot what I was saying because I don't. Oh yes, there, there is noticeable harsh lines right now because I haven't gone and blended both shades together. So once I do that, or once I'm done with the intensity that I want, we can start blending, which is now. And I'm just taking the same first brush that I use with no extra product and just really blending those shades together. All right, now I'm taking the shade Cypress Umber, which is this shade over here. It's a very dark uh, brown shade, and I'm using it in an angled brush. I'm also gonna use a little bit of black, but I want it more in the brown smoky than the black smoky. So we're taking that shade, and I'm putting it on my outer corner here, and kind of making like a V shape with it, just on my outer corner. And with this one, because it's a darker shade, I rather put a little bit on and then blend, which is what I'm doing. So I'm gradually just adding more of that brown shade, Circus Umber, and I'm really just building that shade up like I don't want it super intense at the beginning because I don't know how intense I want this look to be probably very intense now with a flat brush I think I'm just gonna take this one this one actually this brush actually comes with the palette they come in here um, and most if not all of their palettes of the Anastasia Beverly Hills palettes have it so I'm gonna take the shade Noir or noir um, and this shade I know it's very pigmented so you have to be extremely careful with it so I'm taking it with the flat part of the brush I'm literally taking like I'm dabbing it like once quickly and I already have like a lot on my on my brush so I'm just tapping any of the X's in the brush and I'm gonna focus it on my low on my lash line but only on the outside on on the outer corner and then I'm blending with the other side
And that's it with those shades. Now I'm gonna take the shade Bronze, which is the gold shade, and I'm gonna put that all over my lid. And what I'm going to do is I'm gonna take a flat brush. I'm going to take this flat brush over here. It's another, uh, this is a Morphe flat brush. I'm not sure what number it is because it doesn't have it on it. Taking that shade Bronze, and the shades are really pigmented too, like it's basically glitter. And I'm just putting that all over my lid. If you want the shimmer shade a little bit more intense, you can take it with your fingers. And you'll see that the shade will intensify a little bit more. And there is a lot of fallout with this shade. Which kind of sucks, but I don't really mind. Whatever. It's not about the fallout, it's about how the actual eyeshadow holds. I'm taking a clean-ish blending brush. Which is this one over here from Morph or Morphe as well. And I'm just blending the edges over here. Anyways, we're done with this for now. And now I am taking my Marc Jacobs Highliner Gel Eye Crayon. You guys know I love this one. It's one of my favorite ones. Like it's like that. You, you guys know what it looks like. And I'm just using this for my lash line. And I do need this mirror for them. And for eyeliner, because I'm gonna be doing a wing today, I will be taking my tattoo liner by Kat Von D. This is a trooper black tattoo liner. No, this is one of my favorite ones. All right, guys, my eyes are looking very good. I haven't done this kind of look in a really long time, and I have not done a wing in a really long time, and guys, they look the same. Like, Jesus loves me, and it's a good day, and I am about to go yell at my boyfriend for him to shut up. But to continue with this, of my old and new favorites, one of my new favorites actually, is from Dior. Yes, it's a little bit more pricey, you know, a little bit bougie. But this is their Dior Backstage, Backstage Face and Body Primer. This is, I'm pretty sure, oil-free. It's water-based, and honestly, it just makes your skin look so freaking perfect. And I want to give a shout out to Alejandro for showing me this that one time that I showed up at Sephora not knowing that there was like this Dior event happening because I am obsessed. I do put a lot of it, which I don't think it's something that I should be doing. Well, it depends. I don't know. I just, I find that I put a lot of it. What do you mean my freaking... I need to change my battery. Crisis averted. Like I was saying, uh, this has become one of my favorite primers, if not my favorite primer actually. I use it a lot and I've been recently trying out another one, but it's not yet my favorite. Like I like it, but we're gonna stick with this one. Okay, did you see that? Whoa. Anyways, the Dior one. Did I show it? No, I didn't. The only thing, the bottle was super white and now it's not. So you can either put it on your fingertips or just on your directly on your face. I like to do it directly on my face because I'm not losing product. If I feel a lot of times when you oh that's a lot. That's that's a lot. You don't need that much. Like that should have been on my whole face, but it's now just on one side of it. That's fine. Oh yeah. I don't know if the camera picked that up, but like you can't barely see my pores, so just saying, Dior, you did me good. All right, uh, for foundation, I actually have two that I've been mixing together and I've just been loving it. All right, so this primer, the Dior Backstage Face and Body Foundation and the Fenty Beauty Foundation have been a match made 
in heaven. Just getting made in my freaking washroom, actually, because that's where I was doing this little mixture. Anyway, so these two together have been so, like, they just work really well together. And I actually started mixing them because one was too dark, which was this one. And I got this one just after my trip to El Salvador, where I was really tan, but then I ended up freaking losing my tan really fast because it was still freaking winter here. And I tried to focus this one, and then the Fenty Beauty one, I put it kind of like where I didn't put the other one. You have to shake both of them really well too. Just keep that in mind. You can tell there's a difference in the shades. And for my beauty blender, I got these uh, on Amazon. These are the Real Techniques beauty sponges. And now I'm just mixing everything. And I think the pack of six cost me like 10 bucks. And these two together are also very buildable. So I'm gonna add just a little bit more because I want it a little bit more full coverage than it is right now. So I'm just gonna add one drop of each. That was like two, but that's fine. Don't forget your nose, guys. So now for concealer, my holy grail, my one and only, just kidding, it's not my one and only, I have other ones too that I really like, but the one that I know will never let me down is my Tarte Shape Tape. Did you see my face? I didn't show this in the camera, but this is a Fenty one, and this is the Dior one. And I use the foundation 4N, so 4 neutral. And in the Fenty one, I use number 300. And for my Tarte Shape Tape, I'm using the shade Tan. Why did I add those there? Because they want to look snatched. They like. All right, and today I kind of feel like baking, so we're gonna bake. So I'm gonna take this side of my beauty blend, uh, my beauty sponge, and I'm gonna take my favorite, one of my all-time favorites, the Laura Mercier Translucent Setting Powder. This one, guys, we go way back, all right? While that bakes, we're gonna be using my new cream contour product, which is the Huda Beauty Tantor Contour and Bronzer Cream. And this is in the shade Medium. It looks like this in the insert. I've been really, really loving this. I use it a lot on the days that I don't wear foundation, that I'm just wearing concealer and I just wanna like, you know, make, make my face look all like, Skinny. So I'm just taking it on this brush over here from BH Cosmetics actually it's supposed to be like a highlight brush but Clearly, okay, that is a lot So we're just gonna take my beauty blender and we're gonna blend that out right away And I'm not really talking through on how to contour because I do have a video already on how to contour so I'll link that Somewhere up here if I can ever find how to do it. Actually, I'll leave it in the description box down below on my video on how to contour. I'm not going to contour my nose because there's already powder in it and I don't know how this works with on top of powder. So now I'm going to I'm gonna bake my contour. I'm going to bring that there like this. I'm going to put this from here to the end of my mouth. Now that I have that done, this is the, what I'm using to bake. The one thing about this is that I do find that it kind of makes my eyes very dry, my, um, my under eyes very dry. I was trying to figure out what it was. So I can take off the excess from under my eyes. And I, with the excess of that, I'm just gonna kind of set that contour, cream contour. And the rest of my face, I don't need a lot of extra product. So. And 
movie. Yeah, you doing some Yeah. Okay, I'm sorry. What do you want? Well, I'm just gonna go start making dinner. Oh, okay? yeah, it's very okay. Thanks. Love you. And with that commercial break, we are now going to take off this X's over here. Look at me. Look at me. Look at me. You just see who I'm I'm gonna finish my eyes now. So I'm gonna take my Anastasia Beverly Hills Soft Glam Palette again, and I'm gonna start with the shade Burnt Orange, which is this one over here. And I'm just taking a flat brush, like so, and I'm gonna put that all over my lash line, my lower lash line. I don't know what my, singing, my boyfriend's singing, but he's singing something. And I'm gonna take this same, with that same brush, I'm gonna take the shade Rusket, Rusket, Rustic, the shade over here. And I'm gonna focus that, I'm gonna bring it all the way into my inner corner. I'm gonna really focus it from my outer corner to about like a third, no, like uh, a little bit over half, that's what I'm trying to say. And now, again with that same brush, I don't need to change brushes. I'm gonna take the shade Cypress Umber and I'm gonna put that just on my outer corner. Right there. And I want another small tiny brush. This brush over here, I'm gonna take the shade Noir. I'm gonna tap it a little bit and I'm gonna put that like literally just on my outer corner. And now for bronzer, we're gonna finish the rest of the face before we put mascara. For the bronzer, I'm gonna be taking my all-time favorite. All-time favorite. Like I literally, this is my second one since I first tried it out. And guys, I cannot stress this enough. I have never found a friggin' bronzer that was as good as this one. I have every shade of them and I use them on my clients. I just Love, love, love this bronzer. Ma. Butter bronzer by Physicians Formula. Smells like summer, smells like coconut and just freaking palm trees and everything. So, and it just adds that extra warmth to your face. Just like that. For blush, this has been one of my favorite finds in the little, like, uh, I'll just before the you go to the cash There's a bunch of like minis and all that kind of stuff and I found this one. I found the Jouer Blush duo. This is in rose gold. It has her gold and rose petal guys, I Love I'm obsessed with blush right now like a nice little blush just makes me so happy like so happy so when I found this Full size, I think it's like 10 or $15 more. I'm about to break it. If I broke this, I'm gonna be so angry. Kinda broke it, ugh. Really? This always happens to me. Wait until you see my freaking highlight. <sighs> Anyways, I'm first I'm breaking it even more. These are the shades that are in it. Love it. I'm really, really, really really liking the uh shade the darker blushes i'm getting a little bit darker too because of summer so i'm gonna put that first that shade first i'm just gonna put it with this blush over here it's like a big fluffy brush and i've been loving that like blush on your like nose just a little bit of like pink in it it's like Yes, a wink. All right, and now I'm just gonna add a little bit of pink to it. So I'm gonna take the other shade, which is Rose Petal, the lighter shade. This one. The one that I broke. And I'm just gonna add that on top. And for highlight, get ready guys. Like, So I got, and it's not just this shade that I really like, it's any shade from this brand, which is Becca. So I have my Becca highlight with me. I ordered it online and this is like a, uh, what's it called? 
a collector's edition. It's like all sparkly and gold and all, and it gets in the mail here, and it's broken. Like completely broken. So I was like, yo, Sephora, like you need to, like what, what's going on? I just opened it and it was, it, it's broken. And it wasn't like completely broken, but it was enough for me to be able to complain about it. Like if I if it wouldn't have been like a little piece, I wouldn't have complained. But it wasn't just a little piece, okay? Like it was at least like a quarter of it was broken. I'm like, I just made like a lot of money for this. So I get the new one. It's super pretty, super nice. Trying to put it in the box to carry it to my beauty room. It slips out of my hands. And that one really, really shaggy. So, I have watched so many videos on Instagram on how to fix powder products. A lot of people have sent them my way because they know that I've broke. And you know what? I've broken this shade three times. That's the worst part. So this is my champagne pop. Oh, and I just dropped a little bit. Highlight by Becca. And it is shattered. It is, I tried to fix it. Kind of, but I love it. It's still one of my favorite shades ever. I adore this freaking highlight, the brand itself. I love, actually, maybe that'll do. I'll do like of my least favorite products that I have. Maybe that'll be my next video. I'm gonna use that same highlight for my inner corner of my eyes and my brow bone. And this shade goes with anything. I just love, love, love the shade. Like they should call me Champagne Break because I've broken it three times. And before I go in with mascara, I will be taking one of my favorite setting sprays. If not, like this is a holy grail of mine that like I will always use this. And every time that the bottle is empty, I will go and get a new one. And this is the NYX Cosmetics Matte Finish Long Lasting Setting Spray. It looks like this. It's like, I think, 15 bucks. My favorite mascara ever, Holy Grail, that I, again, I will buy and rebuy and rebuy every time that I'm empty, is, drum roll, my Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara. You guys know how much I love this mascara. It makes me so happy. It just makes my lashes look so good. And now for lips. I will be taking another of my favorite lipsticks. And the shade as well is just like so perfect. And one thing, it does come like at the end of the day, you will feel like your lips are very dry. But I think that's also because I don't hydrate enough. So don't count me on like it being dry. It's just me, okay? It's just me. I will be using my Anastasia Beverly Hills, um, this is called Matte Lipsticks. Uh, it looks like this. And this is the shade Kiss. It's like a nude pink. Uh, shade. I just love it. So, I was gonna change and put like something more presentable than a crew neck that says I'm always late to the movie. But who am I kidding? I'm literally going to my kitchen to eat spaghetti and meatballs. So, here we are. So this is the final look. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I did a little slow motion. Don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up and I don't know what I'm saying. So let's just move on and just say goodbye because you guys you probably stopped watching like 30 minutes ago, so. I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.